Seth Rollins crashes to Earth with one of the most famous RKO's ever, ending his quest for victory. A statement win for Randy Orton, but Seth Rollins wasn't done yet. Later that same evening, Brock Lesnar would take part in a match that had another surprising conclusion. The WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Brock had used his victory over Undertaker at WrestleMania 30 to get a championship match against John Cena at SummerSlam 2014, taking the title from Cena in a scary display of dominance. Since that victory, Brock had steamrolled everyone put in front of him, including an impressive defense of the title at the 2015 Royal Rumble against both Cena and Seth Rollins. It did not matter who stood across from Lesnar, he was going to eat, sleep, suplex, repeat his way to victory after victory. Roman Reigns capitalized on his growing momentum by winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, punching his ticket to take on the WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 31. The future Tribal Chief knew that he was destined to become WWE World Heavyweight Champion, showing no fear or intimidation in the presence of Lesnar. In a completely unexpected twist, something took place during that match that turned everything upside down. During a moment that saw both Lesnar and Reigns down on the mat, it would be the music of Seth Rollins that would hit, as he would be cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase. And just like that, a one-on-one -on -one contest became a triple threat. To tell us more about what some consider to be the greatest cash-in ever, we have the visionary himself, Seth Rollins. For WWE superstars, for myself especially, WrestleMania is everything. We work year round, tirelessly, grinding, sacrificing. Every year you get ready to put on the best show. You want everything to peak at the right time because you know that that moment is going to be the most watched, witnessed moment of the entire year. And if you do it right, you can create something that's bigger than you and in some ways transcends our entire industry. I had my sights set on the main event of WrestleMania for some time though. Uh, I just needed the perfect opportunity to make sure that the cash-in was a success. When it's all said and done, if I'm remembered for nothing else, I will live forever in that moment. Big thanks to Seth Rollins for giving us the time to talk about WrestleMania 31 and the cash-in heard around the world. Now it's up to you to figure out how you're going to walk out of this incredible encounter with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. They've built it up, but can you burn it down? Set, Brock Lesnar was out to prove that Roman Reigns did not belong in the same ring as him. Lesnar was not impressed with the Royal Rumble win, and he was not impressed with Roman's past achievements. Roman had come in extremely self-confident. Trying to return Brock's head-on approach, Roman instead ran right into an F5. One thing I remember vividly was that Lesnar didn't immediately go for the pin. Some people think it was respectful, you know, like Roman's not done yet. I saw it as Lesnar not wanting to let Reigns off the hook so easy. Brock Lesnar was out to humiliate Roman Reigns. He's hurt, so keep hurting him.
It was going exactly how Brock Lesnar wanted it to go. Another F5 put his brash challenger down on the mat. What more could Lesnar do to humiliate this guy? Brock had an idea. Removing his gloves, ensuring that any punch he landed would do even more damage. But when Brock opened up the barrage with a slap, it seemed to awaken something within Reigns. Brock continued to hammer him, but was met only by laughter from his challenger. Now it appeared that Roman was trying to humiliate Brock. Who in their right mind laughs in the face of Brock Lesnar? Two monstrous German suplexes got the intended result. Roman Reigns wasn't smiling anymore, and Suplex City was born. And when Brock followed that up with yet another F5, it looked like that was all she wrote. But Roman Reigns would give everyone a glimpse of what he had inside, somehow kicking out at two. For the first time in the entire match, Brock Lesnar seemed at a loss as to what to do next. Would he just have to hit F5 after F5 until Roman stayed down? Everyone in the stadium thought Roman was done after that F5. He was showing us all exactly what he was made of, and it was clearly starting to frustrate a once supremely confident Brock Lesnar. When Lesnar hit that ring post, everything changed. Roman was now in control, and he had badly hurt the champion. He's not a machine, he's a man. Once Brock had made it back into the ring, Roman knew he had to act immediately. Lesnar had dominated the match to this point, and Reigns likely wouldn't get another chance like this. One Superman punch landed, rocking Lesnar. A second Superman punch would connect and Lesnar was on rubber legs as he fell into the corner. Lesnar looked out on his feet and Reigns appeared to be catching a second win.
Reigns' attempt at a third Superman punch was caught by Lesnar, but Reigns couldn't bother to be impressed by the feat of strength. A storm of elbows and headbutts freed him from Lesnar's grasp and allowed Roman to hit the ropes and finally hit the third Superman punch, taking Lesnar down. A huge spear took Brock down again, but only momentarily. Roman didn't panic, backing up into the corner immediately. Roman Reigns leveling the beast with another heavy spear. But fate had other plans, with Brock kicking out at two. Now it was Roman asking himself the questions. What more do I have to do? Can I beat Brock Lesnar? Can anyone beat Brock Lesnar? He had to dig down for whatever he had left inside to give Lesnar one last shot that would end this thing once and for all. Looking for a fourth Superman punch, Reigns instead found himself in Lesnar's clutches, once again victimized by an F5. Fortunately for Roman, the damage had been done to Lesnar, leaving him incapable of making a cover of any kind. Unfortunately for both men, Seth Rollins' music hit. Was he really going to? There was no way he was crashing the WrestleMania main event and cashing in Money in the Bank. With both Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns having taken serious amounts of damage to this point, what in the world could possibly stop Seth Rollins from completely stealing the show and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Rollins had crashed the party, but he wasn't looking to stay long. He looked for the stomp on Brock Lesnar, but found himself set up for the F5. But that spear from Reigns would be his last gasp. And with nothing left in his energy reserves, Reigns would fall victim to Seth Rollins' stomp. And in one of WrestleMania's most shocking conclusions, Seth Rollins walks out of Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar as the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. You had to feel for both Reigns and even Lesnar as the two had thrown everything at each other in hopes of capturing the championship. But it was all for naught as Rollins had now rewritten the story of his WrestleMania 31. Everyone thought his evening had ended via spectacular RKO, but Seth Rollins stole the whole damn show with WWE's greatest cash-in, leaving Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar completely stunned as Seth walked out the new champion. Michael Cole called it the heist of the century. It's the greatest cash-in that Money in the Bank has ever produced.